Hi guys, John here. So, I've been able to upload some of my lost videos on YouTube. Um, haven't been able to recover all of them since all of them were lost. By the way, I still have my old, old tarantula videos on my um, cell phone. So, if you guys want, send me some comments on this video if you want me to post uh, more of the tarantula videos that I have. It's better than nothing, it's, it's bad quality, but hey, at least I can have some of my tarantula videos back. Okay, so this video is going to be about the differences between the old world and new world species. So a lot of, get a lot of people asking me, what's the new world, what's an old world species? So if you guys remember your history class, um, Columbus in 1492 discovered the Americas. Um, so those are termed the new world since it's a newly discovered continent. So the new worlds include the um, North America, Central America, and the South America. And the old worlds are the Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. So new world and old world tarantulas have very different defense mechanisms. So let's start with the new world first. New worlds are the beginner to intermediate um, tarantulas to keep. Um, their venom is weak to average. Um, Altees are venomous, they are not poisonous. Altees have a certain degree of venom, some have worse than others, like as I'll get into later on in the video. Uh, yeah, so most New Worlds aren't that aggressive, well, depending on the beginner species. Some, they range from docile to aggressive, and um, yeah, so their defense mechanism, they'll either do a threat posture, as in the case for uh, Ephobopus species, or um, Pamphibidius, Tarifosa, Nandu, they'll either do a thresh posture or they'll either raise their abdomen and flick hairs. The, these hairs are called urticating hairs. These are very fine barbed hairs located on the abdomen or, as in the case for Ephobopus genus, on the pedipalps. If they're really not happy with you, they'll either sh shake their hairs off your leg like this as you saw in my Brachypelma care video, where my smithy was actually shedding hairs. Or uh, they'll either go into a threat posture if, if you disturb it too much. So, um, yeah, so one characteristic species that has a really unique threat posture, and I will do a video of it um, to remake the last video, is the uh, Megaphibema robustum threat posture. This tea will raise its abdomen bop up and down, go in circles, and if it if you manage to get it really agitated, it'll take its uh, hind legs and it'll shark and it'll shoot barbs of hair at you. So those hairs can actually pierce your skin and it can draw blood. So it's equivalent of getting like a little iron nail in your skin. Okay, so you want to avoid contact of the urticating hairs because uh they can give you bad rashes and you can itch forever. I remember getting haired by my tea blondie and I was in the shower for a good 10 minutes just to get those hairs off me. And for blondies, you gotta wear gloves and goggles when you're dealing with the species because the blondie has the worst urticating hair. Hair will get into your eye and they can actually blind you. So you wanna be careful when you're dealing with uh, Theraphosa species. Not, on, not that I don't or it's handling because you shouldn't be handling a tarantula that big because of the fangs and the sheer size. Like, I have like eight and a half inch hands. Like, I won't be able to hold my T blondie. My T blondie is about ten inches big. So that's about it for new worlds. So old worlds are pretty nifty. Um, these are expert species only. Um, their temperance are very very aggressive and. Um, their, pot their venom is very, very potent. So, because they don't have urticating hair, um, the these will tend to bite more. And uh, their venom is pretty bad. And the venom will put you in a hospital. Like, uh, I have Rob C to testify and uh, GIR3393. They got bitten by old worlds and they had to seek medical attention between those species. Uh, let's see. Also, oh, right, I forgot to add the new world. Arboreals, they're kind of funky because um, the Vicularia species does have urticating hair, but the only one problem with with uh, genus is that they can flick urticating hair when they're annoyed. So 
the only way to get it in contact is to uh, is when you're handling the spider, and it'll actually shed off their hair. But most of Echolaria genus will, if they're really um, don't like to be handled, they'll uh, use this defense mechanism called the poop cannon, where they'll actually squirt poop at you and with good aim, just to uh, make themselves known that uh, they don't want to be handled. So and then species like the Tapenkinius and um, the Salmopoeus and Iridopelma, the New World Arboreals, they behave more like Old World Tarantulas. Uh, their venom is average, but they don't have the urticating hair. So you want to watch out when you're handling those genuses. I don't know if handling any handling any of the Salmopoeus, Tapenkinius, or Iridopelma genus because they're kind of aggressive. So. I hope this clears out the definition between the old world and new world teas. So, peace guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more tea videos to, to recoup the losses. So, I got 165 subscribers in one day, which is actually really awesome. So, once again, um, do not subscribe to the John3800 account. If you're looking for the John3800 account videos, it's located on Sozak 565 So, thank you once again. Peace.